What's cracking, you fucking bush ears, and welcome back. This is SLTP, episode 199, DH. Here with the ass blower. Ass blower. I blew ass last week. I was told I blew ass. Did I blow ass? Allegedly. Allegedly. Were you? No, I heard. I listened back. I didn't. I didn't hear any evidence it, of that. <clears throat> it sounded more of like a gulp. Mm. Like I was trying to an ass gulp. <laughs> what was your ass gulping? Yeah. Welcome back, motherfucker. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank man. You, thank you. Let's uh, go around the horn real quick. Feel your choice. I got. <clears throat> I got two in front of me, but the first one we're going with is the. Aguamala. Aguamala. Uh-huh. Tell me about this one, Boski. Aguamala. Shout out to uh, my neighbor from across the street, Alex. What up, motherfucker? I see you. <laughs> I see him every day. I'm just like, hey. Yeah. All right. He's walking around, throwing his trash away. I see him. See him in my camera. Nice. Creeping. Oh, I'm kidding. Um, so uh, he went to a fucking brewery in Ensenada. A fucking brewery. Huh? A fucking brewery in so Ensenada. people go fucking? They go fucking. I mean, if drink you go to, beer? If you, if you go to Ensenada, like, you should probably go fucking, right? I guess. I've never been to Ensenada. You've never been to Ensenada. Never been to Ensenada. To all the places you've been in the world. (laughs) You've never been to Ensenada. Ensenada. But is that where this came from? So uh, a brewery called Aguamala, so bad water. Hmm. And uh, the one I'm holding is a Sirena Pilsner. So like a mermaid Pilsner, I guess. Very nice. Mermaid piss. Mermaid piss. Oh, (laughs) shit. They go have some mermaid piss. This is a 5.2. Uh yeah, with an IBU of twenty three point two. Nice. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna read it in Spanish. De profundo color dorado con espuma que perdura. Whoa. Se, perci- <laughs> se percibe en nariz notas florales, en mieladas y frutales. Oh yeah, fucking talk to me, daddy. En en boca. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, en boca. Espumar en boca? What? <laughs> en boca se complementa con amargor persistente y notas lupulosas. <laughs> this beer is naughty. <laughs> it's a sexy beer. This is beer for sex. All right, man. Well, cheers, sir. Cheers. What does yours say? Uh, I don't know. I can't read. You can't read Spanish, dude? Obscura como una noche sin luna con elegante espuma color beige. <laughs> color beige. It said it's black as night. What does yours say? It's a stout. Yeah, I got the uh, oatmeal stout. That's what we usually drink? <clears throat> Not really. Not really. Not really. I just grabbed it because it was green. Mm. <laughs> Your mariners. Anyway. Yeah, man. I'm back. So... All star season is over. Welcome back, dude. Thank you. All star season is yep. over for my Sh- daughter. Shout out to me team. for holding it down by myself. Absolutely, half asleep. Absolutely, fucking just like <laughs> slapping myself awake. Like <laughs> last week's episode, dude. I had to get it out later because that that edit yeah. was a pain in the ass. I bet it was. I was like falling asleep. It like, was super late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. So I had to cut all that stuff out. Listen back. I was like, man, fuck, fuck this <laughs> shit. So it was it was tough, bro. It was tough, but I did the. Uh, we're using new microphones this way this week, by the way, wireless. So yeah. if, so yep, if I yep. sound if I sound funky or if DH sounds funky, then uh, just blame it on the microphones. Yeah. Blame it on the uh, 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 microphones. Um, got some wireless mics, DJI. All right, uh, the wireless bullshit. I don't know what the fuck it's called, but um. <clears throat> Hey man, it's nice not having all this bullshit in front of me. Not having to log all that fucking gear mm-hmm. and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. recording directly, equipment. In, directly into the interface because it has a recording um, feature. So yeah, man, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use these mics for um, mic, episode 200. M- mic'd up shit. Episode 200. We're gonna we're gonna crowd surf. I'm gonna walk up to people and be like, "Are you for the fucking culture?" And if they say no, move on. Okay. But if they say yes, <laughs> guess what? They're going to be on the pod. Mm. Mm-hmm. Million questions. Um, I mean, hey, man, there's going to be an open mic. 
That's open right. mic for for whoever. We'll get into that later. That's right. That's right. We'll get into that later. But yeah, uh, your your all stars. Yeah. So season's over. Uh, we got eliminated mm-hmm. in the district tournament. I uh, was hoping that our team would go all the way to states. Mm-hmm. Didn't happen because I'm a jackass coach. I don't know how to coach softball. I quit. I retire. Do you retire really? No, I don't know. Is that just something you said? No, you you know what? It's it's frustrating, you know, because Mm -hmm. when you think you're gonna go somewhere, you expect Mm -hmm. to hit a goal, (laughs) and you don't hit that goal. You're preaching to the choir, sir. Yeah, it sucks, man. (laughs) Um, and so it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But my time is uh, my time is a little more open now. Mm-hmm. I ain't got no more tournaments. Right. Just got to get ready for the next season, which is going to be in the fall. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm going to coach again, but I enjoyed it, though. I, I liked it. The last year, mm-hmm. I spent this whole last year coaching softball. Uh-huh. Um, not just one team, but, like, you know, the all-star team, the select team. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, congratulations. And, you know, honestly, it's tough, bro. It's mm-hmm. tough. Coaching is not easy. Of course. Um, you got Especially a lot of, kids, you got girls. A lot, of shit, a lot of shit to deal with. Little hormonal girls, their parents. Punk but you know they they punk, for punk the, ass parents, man. You know them punk ass parents. Man. For the most part, I didn't really, I didn't have, I didn't have too much, too much trouble with parents mm-hmm. or ki- or the kids. The, the girls got along pretty well. Right. Um, yeah, a couple, you know, a couple outbursts if somebody struck out or made an error. Right. Um, but you know, you got to let them be them. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't change them. They're not boys, and so you got to let them be them. Yeah, let them get it out. Em. Kidding? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. With with uh, with boys, it's a little different. That tough love, right? Right. You know, suck it up. I, I tell my Pump. wife all the time that my my daughters should feel lucky that they're not boys, or or I've even told her like I'm so glad that they're not boys because I would smack them. You know, you can, you can get away with a little more. Yeah, with uh, boys, I mean, I with just, boys, I just feel like 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 boys need to get smacked around for discipline. You know, disciplinary yeah. reasons. Uh, but, but you know, times are changing now, Boski. You can't, you can't yeah, do that. Can't do shit. These you little, can't do little, that no more. Little punk ass kids. I'm, I'm calling CPS. We'll <laughs> call them dog shit. You can't hit me. I'll hit him too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't hit my kids, man. I don't hit my kids. No, but you know, it is different. But if they were though. boys, I swear to God, I'll kick them in the growing, ass. Growing up for us is definitely different oh, yeah, yeah. than how for it sure. is with kids these days. You know, and I need to get, I need to figure out this, uh, this microphone because it's. <laughs> Sounds funky to me. Is it starting to sound funky to you? Uh, does it, I, I'm good. I'm chilling. All right. I think I think it's just it's just me, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. As long as it sounds good on a loudspeaker, then I'm, I'm oh. solid. We'll we'll hear this one back later on eventually. <laughs> Tomorrow morning. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, so I'm done with that. Uh, moving on to the next thing. We'll mm-hmm. see what happens. Right. But episode 200 right around the corner, Boski. Next week. Next yeah. week. Oh, in a couple of days. Uh, this drops on Monday. Yeah. Drops on Monday. This drops on Monday. This drops on Monday. I'm playing with the mic. Um, yeah, drops on Monday morning. What is tomorrow morning? The 17th. Um, so the 21st, so five days later. Yeah. 200 in person. Yeah. Friday evening. Um, At Rube's Arm Barn. Rube's, yeah, Rube's Arm Barn. Uh, I'm going to have to say that the fucking guest list is closed. That's it. That's a wrap. No mas. That's a wrap. I, I mean, there might max it out. There might be an exception here and there. There's been people like, hey, I'll, 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 I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Better hurry up and get back to me, man. Because goddamn, if you don't know what you're doing on Friday, at how's, this point, how's the list looking? Uh, a, a solid fifty ish. Oh, ish. Nice. Yeah, it's probably a little less than that. Okay. Yeah, it just depends, dude. Because like, if, if somebody like if they bring somebody, yeah, maybe, maybe like they bring their wife or their right. girl, girlfriend right, right, right. or something. There will be alcohol. Um, I do expect everybody to behave, motherfuckers. Good luck with that. <laughs> Shit. Um, <laughs> this is the culture, after all, Boski. The culture is for everybody to bring a bat and fight. Okay, you no, got that's beef. Too now, yeah, you got no. beef with somebody, <laughs> fight. You guys Never should, mind. Different culture. You Different should, culture. You guys should duke it out. Nah, man. Our culture is fucking solid. But the thing about our culture, DH, not our, it's, this is, the thing about the culture is it's not our culture. That we created. Mm. The culture's always been here. Right. It's always been whatever it is now. You can't change it. It's never going to change. So everybody needs to stop being a bunch of fucking pussies. Looking at one guy in particular. I'm not looking at you, DH. Yeah, mm. you know, I mean, I'm looking at you. <laughs> looking at me, but not looking at <laughs> but me. But this isn't directed at you, so. <laughs> But, uh, no, yeah, man. Uh, the culture is what it is, and it always will be. Yeah. You know? 
So we're going to celebrate with episode 200 coming up this week. It's going to be fun, man. It's going to be fun. I wish I had stuff to give away. I don't. But I'm giving away my time. We're giving away some alcohol. Mm. It'll be good. If you want to bring something, please do. Um, It's not really required. Uh, But if you want to bring something, do it. Yeah. Yeah, a little want, something, something to. If you want to bring us gifts, bring us gifts. I like Stop. free shit. <laughs> Stop. There it is. There it is, Boski. What free your shit? Your real thoughts. Yeah, what you really want. I want all your free stuff. Give it to me now. Speaking of stuff that we've gotten hooked up with, shout out to yep. Brito Gloves. Yep, Brito Batting Gloves. I got my uh, set of Brito Batting Gloves right here yeah. in front of me. Mm-hmm. These are nice. I'm still working on my review. It's pretty much uh, everything's recorded. I need to figure that. I out. I haven't used them in a game situation yet. Have you? Yes, I used them in the last game of our season. Okay, of our regular season. Yeah, they're comfortable. They're comfortable for sure. Comfy I like the gloves. I like I like the wrist support because they have like those thicker uh, wrist wrist straps. Yeah, <clears throat> the double strap, double strap. Um, I like them. I like them. I just think uh, for my preferences, they don't work on tape like on athletic tape, but yeah. they they work better with um uh, like a lizard, a lizard skin type of thing. Got you, got but you. that's just my preference. What else are you holding? Shout out to the Orange County Rays, the OC Rays, hooking it up with some jerseys. I see you got yours on already. Yes, sir. Wearing mine right now. Got a boy. I got my own DH twenty one right here. OC mm-hmm. Rays. I'm gonna rock this one. Hell yeah! And um, we got another one here. The Peloteros. That's right. Peloteros have a little bit of a different uh, material for their jersey, but I like the color scheme. Looks like we're going with. Uh, I wouldn't call this crimson. It's like a maroon. It's like a maroon. Or yeah, like, it's kind of it's kind of USC ish. Yeah, it's got a maroon and a gold type of feel to it on a black jersey. How do you I like, like it? How do you like the fabrics? Like they're two different fabrics. What do you think? You know, I I think uh, as a ball player, I'd probably go with something that's a little more breathable. Like the this Peloteros jersey is uh, is nice and breathable, lightweight. But the OC Rays jersey is also lightweight. It's designed to be moisture wicky, <laughs> moisture wicky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we wiki your sweaty. And yours has your name on it. It's got the DH on there. Yep, yep. I like yeah, that yeah. too. I don't know, man. That's hard. I honestly I would go with either one. I would yeah, go with either both, one. They're both they're both fucking solid, bro. They both have their own like unique colors and all that shit. Yeah. Um you can do a lot with either one. Like especially if like for me, like I'm wearing mine with just some I'm wearing shorts, bro. Oh boy. <laughs> what the fuck is the last time I wore shorts? <laughs> I don't I don't usually wear shorts. Like late, I don't know. Late, I lately in my life I don't because I got like He's a. Uh, I got stains on my legs. Are you even allowed to wear shorts at work? Yeah, I can wear shorts at work. Mm. I always wear pants though. I always wear pants. You I just can... haven't shaved your legs in a minute. Is that what it uh, is? I mean, I got some hairy legs. You know, it's um, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I don't know. It, I was just stop wearing shorts. Mm. You know what it is? They make shorts too short now. Uh you don't like them to come up above the knee or what? Um, I need them a little bit baggier. Mm-hmm. Just like like a little bit bad year, mm. just a tad, you know. Especially because uh, that's not the style, though, bro. I'm not living for style. You know, that's what it is. That's just what it is, man. You know, I'm not part of a uh, pop culture. I'm only for the culture. <laughs> <laughs> Different yeah. type of pop culture. Yeah, home I'm, run pop I'm, culture, I'm, bro. I'm not for pop culture, dog. Pop culture is fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't know. That's just, look, I'm for the fucking culture, bro. Are you for the fucking culture? You could say that. You could say, you that. Could say that. I'm here right in front of you with a microphone, <laughs> drinking to, a beer. Today you're talking for, ball. Today you're for, you're for the fucking culture. Um, went to Bevmo, not Bevmo, the disrespect. I'm a total wine guy. I don't, I don't do, I don't fuck with Bevmo that mm-hmm. much. Went to Total Wine. I bought something. Okay. I bought a big fucking bottle of Malort. Oh shit. <laughs> You, no, I don't know. I'm very tempted that if you uh, if you want to talk on the third microphone, you are required to take a Malort shot. Fuck. Yeah, dude, I'm an asshole, bro. The, yeah, that Malort dude, is no joke. I swear to God, dude, every week. Let me get on the pod. Let me get on the pod. Well, you know what, man? Are you for the fucking culture? <laughs> Drink a Malort. S- slide over a little shot of Malort. No, no, thank you. <laughs> the age oh, is like it's already just giving me flashbacks. It's not that bad. It's it's, it's pretty bad, dude. It's not. It's that nasty bad. shit. It, it, it it takes you back in time when I'm pretty sure they made that because of the um, what's that shit called? I don't know, but it takes you back in time when cavemen would drink polluted water. 
Like, <laughs> come on now. Um, fucking, uh, uh, when they banned alcohol, what is that shit called? Prohibition. Prohibition, there you go. I've never been there either. Mm. Um, yeah, so it takes me back to those times. Yeah. Prohibition. There, I'm sure people were drinking that shit just because of Prohibition. Yeah, probably. Yeah, man. So, anyway, um, I did listen back to some of the episodes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, let's start with the, the roast fest of Boski. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it was a roast fest. It was fun. I was just sitting there. You not- had to have known it was coming. Oh, of course. I knew what I was You had to have yeah, known. I knew exactly what was about to happen. I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew what was about to happen. <laughs> like, she's either going to just, like, just shut off. She's going to shut off and be super nervous, or she's just going to let me have it. Sure enough, she doesn't understand how how infamous she is right now. She's infamous, dude. Like, <laughs> it's like I'm getting messages like, "Hey, Bosky, man, like I'm not gonna let my wife listen to this episode <laughs> because we know, dude. Like, like we fool ourselves and we try to trick ourselves into believing that that they thousand percent support us in doing what we want to do, which mm-hmm. is play ball. Mm-hmm. But deep down, like we all know that they're like, Ugh. like seriously." Like, like again. you're not gonna go pro. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. Like you're it, not it, gonna go pro. Why are you still <laughs> doing this? Why do you go through all this trouble? Yeah, if you're and, not even gonna go pro. And, and then she looks at me because I'm always in pain. <laughs> I'm always hurting. And then she's like, well, "Why do you go if you're just gonna feel like that after?" <laughs> I shut the fuck up and let me feel like shit. <laughs> no, nah, but yeah, she let me have it. Yeah. What are your thoughts on on that, episode? bro? You know, honestly. I, I thought it was a good listen. The, my wife and I listened to it together, and I just mm-hmm. thought to myself, you know what? This is a good, like, relationship-building episode. <laughs> it was almost like a therapy session, for, you for, know? Like, for yourselves? Or? No, just like, you know, any ball player that uh-huh. is in a relationship, a committed relationship, <laughs> yeah, a yeah. married relationship, you mm-hmm. know, whatever. Like, it's pretty serious. Or even if it's not that serious, like, mm-hmm. you're just starting to date somebody. Right. Yeah, even guys with just girlfriends. You, you can listen to this with your significant other and <laughs> and have a good laugh, or be like, "Yep, yeah. that's me. Yep, that's me. Yep, that's you. Yep, that's you." And then, oh, and then like they'll say like that their girls were like, "You see, she says it too." Yeah. So she, I'm not crazy. Yeah, exactly. So I thought yeah. it was a good episode for ref- couples to listen. It was to. refreshing for sure for couples to listen to because it's real, man. It's real. The guys yeah. out there that you know are as committed to this shit as you are, mm-hmm. will understand. Definitely. The ones that are not like <laughs> me, who is committed to coaching, mm-hmm. probably doesn't understand. Because for me, my priority was elsewhere. And for those that their priority is playing ball on Sundays, no excuses, like get that shit done. Mm-hmm. Nobody else will ever get that. No. Even the spouses. Nobody will else will ever understand well, the spou- well, why. That, that's why we were there, because the spouses don't understand. And you probably don't even understand why you go through all this shit either. But uh, maybe you do. Maybe it's because you love this shit. Bro, ain't nobody more for the culture than me, dog. Mm-hmm. I, and I will fight anybody for it. No. For that title. So So it was a good... I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. <laughs> I haven't listened back, but I remember everything. And then the other two solo ones, I'm surprised you didn't get a guest. Oh uh, yeah, man. Just well, I yeah, last week I could see why you got home super fucking late, <sighs> dude. It was like one, two in the morning. I'm like, Fuck. yeah, like, I, and it was really just in an effort for um for two hundred. Yeah, just to keep the timeline yeah. going. Pretty much, I respect that <laughs> for the culture. I respect bro. that <laughs> for sure. Yeah, dude. I, it just it's a. Uh, so how was San Diego, by the way? You had a good time, it sounds like. You had your bodyguard there. We <laughs> yeah. had dad bats over yeah. there. We had we you had got, the Gators media team. We had Gators bodyguards. You got to kick it with the walk-ons. Kicked it with the walk-ons. The threshers. Kicked, threshers. Uh, watched the Sluggos play a little yeah. bit. Um, uh, which I had mentioned last time. Like, fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, I probably should have made a better effort of, like, saying what's up again. I, but I've already met them before. Yeah. But I shouldn't have. I probably should have went over there and be like, yeah, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? Good to see you hmm. again. And, but I didn't come stupid. Fuck it. Um, but uh, that was fun, man. We went to the Dirty Birds. I recommend it. Okay. They have several locations over there. So they got good wings. Um, solid wings, for sure. They're, uh, I saw something on the internet that they're like top 10 in America. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dog. So you dirty being, birds. You're, are you a wing snob? I love wings. Bro. You love wings. I love wings. They got some hot spicier stuff. the better. Mm-hmm. You know I, me. I cannot, uh, speak. We'll talk about that later. The spicy nuts from earlier. 
I didn't get. I never. I didn't have one after all. You didn't have any of these nuts. These nuts. Uh, just, you played today, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Um, yeah, we did that. So I recommend that. And then after we went to Belmont Park mm-hmm. or some shit, we mm-hmm. went to some bar called Draft. All right. Draft, and it was pretty good, man. They had this beer called Cali Creamin with nitro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With nitro. nitro. Oh, fuck. Put that shit in my mouth. <laughs> God damn. Espuma en mi boca. Espuma negra en mi boca. No, no, that's not what it was. He said something. Let me see what this bottle. This bottle says. There this you go. bottle says. Obscura como una noche sin luna. That's a uh, black as night. Black as night without a moon. <laughs> without a moon. Um, yeah. That's so poetic. Nah, dude, I wish I could read better in Spanish. Yeah. That, that print is also pretty bad. But anyway, San Diego, man. San you made the trip down there. I'm yeah. sorry I couldn't join you, obviously. Th- th- that's all good, bro. Fucking uh, Threshers, solid. Sluggos, solid. The pitching was good. Um, I showed you I showed you Vincent, Vinny. Yeah. He was uh, he was throwing a uh, sidewinder, like submarine yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never see that these days. You don't see it often anymore. Ah. And he could put a little something on it, too. I was impressed. I'm like, ooh. It's like, I want to face it, but not really, but I want to face it. You know, yeah. type yeah, of shit. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like that's nasty, but let's see it. Yeah, it's so, crazy. Um, I will say I saw bomb bats out there. Okay, I saw some bomb bats. All right. Um, I wish I could have seen more games, but like you know, you can only really go to one spot. Yeah, San Diego's fucking huge. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I believe the the Walk Ons Venados game was probably like twenty minutes away. Okay, I wasn't gonna do all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and like with the Threshers, I've been dodging them for two years. <laughs> Not no more. <laughs> Yeah, man. I was like, "All right, we're doing it. We're gonna do it. Do it this time. We got it. Like, I'm committed." So, originally, the walk-ons were supposed to play against the uh, the Threshers. Oh yeah. So I was like, "Okay, June 9th. and I had it settled on June 9th, Told the wife, "June 9th. this is when we're going." And, uh, and so we went, but they they were uh, it was Thresher Sluggos. Mm. So, right, even better. Yeah, I mean, you know, good old fashioned rival- rivalry. Good old fashioned rivalry. The chirping wasn't really. Um, drastic. It was just like whatever. Okay, you know, but it was fun. Like the comp, the, the competition solid for sure. There was a couple bombs. Oh dang, for yeah, real! The big lefty guy for the Snuggles hit a turn. It's like damn, fool. <laughs> <laughs> they played at Crawford High School. It looks like it's a million feet away. Yeah, they got to cut their grass. Oh, dude, <laughs> that field was brutal. <laughs> This field was brutal, man. But no, yeah. it was all, overall good vibes, good time. Everybody was cool as fuck. Yeah. Uh, so shout out to everybody, man. That, that uh, that's good, that, man. That's, that's good. Up. Check yeah. that off the list. San Diego mm-hmm. yeah. caught a game there. What's still want to see all the teams? So I'm still, I still need to see all them. What's next? What's uh, the next uh, league? Oh man. Well, we played we played the Thibodeaux, but they came out here, so that doesn't, yeah. that's not fair. For it's not fair to count that. Still got to go out there. And they're probably like the closest one, realistically. Yeah, yeah. Um, other than that, that's... All right. Yeah. Well, good shit, man. San Diego. <laughs> got, uh, we have a couple scrimmages coming up. We had a scrimmage for the for the daddies today. We did. Yeah, that was, was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was right? fun. The tournament team, daddies. Mm-hmm. I'm having a, I'm having an outstanding time uh, GMing. <laughs> I bet you are. Uh, it, it's actually like you're some it's, fun. it's it's not that brutal. I think where I'm going to start like getting stressing out is uh, once I hop into the NABA website and start like putting shit in. Yeah, you know. Uh, the, but the the deposit is paid, so like like we're good there. Uh, it's just the jersey part was a little little wonky, um, but that's done. Jerseys are paid, and everybody's cooperating, man. Hell yeah! Everybody's, Everybody like, seems like they're looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I'm looking. I'm I'm planning on success. Whatever success is, it's uh, you know, realistically, man, success is whatever you deem it to be. Right. It's how you it define back. it yourself. It's how you define it, man. And and what so, success mean to you? Exactly. What does it mean to you? For the tournament? Yes. Um, championship or bust? No, <laughs> kidding. Um, honestly, do man, you get rings if you win? I think on this one, no. All right. I don't think they offer the rings. Um, that's only the that's World only Series. the World Series, huh? I believe so. Yeah, I, I don't know. Probably um, better that way. Some Nava guy will make correct. it exclusive. Some Nava guy's about to text me and correct me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, Boski. Yeah, dude. Uh, but uh, I mean, I've really, just the experience. 
the experience and put some ballers out onto the field. Uh, the challenge is finding playing time for everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm Well, saying? that's not going to be your job, is it? No, no. I'm, I'm passing those responsibilities on to uh, to my bodyguard and uh, and my other bodyguard, Ethan. All right. So Frank, Frank and Ethan, co-managers, uh, I'll, be, I'll, I'll play GM so that they don't have to worry about that part. Yeah, yeah. you just got to get the players. You get the players, they put them out the field. So get, you can't get pissed off if they uh, if they sit you. Correct. That is correct. Can't get yeah. mad, Boski. Yeah. But my only recommendation is um, uh, I, I, I prefer to come out of a game than to go into a game. It's, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever, like, gone into a game. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> that that's a fuck. So you've never not started a game. I can't remember a time ever where, in your life. I can't remember a time where if if I didn't start, I don't think I actually went into the game. I can't remember a time. And I'm not trying to sound like like a cocky piece of shit. <laughs> I know that I sound like a cocky piece of shit, but I'm, really, I'm just not trying to. I, mean, I know I am, but I'm just not especially trying. Especially in Sunday ball, man. Like I'm not sitting the bench, dude. Like it's just <laughs> no, like. I'm, if I and then also another thing too, like if I come out, um, I was just talking about this with Frank. Um, if I come out, I'm gonna go coach the bases. Like I'm still involved in the game. That's a matter of fact. That's what happened in Arizona with the Mets. I came out of the championship game for a pinch bunter, and well, because you weren't gonna bunt. Fuck no, dude! <laughs> I'm a fucking stud, dog. I put a bomb. I'm not at- trying to sound like a fucking snob. <laughs> I'm not trying. Yeah, dude. Uh, but I came out and I, I just coached third the rest of the game, and waving my arm was fun, man. You know, it's <laughs> yeah, like the, it is. the harder I wave my arm, the faster he runs. That's <laughs> I'm a true believer in that. <laughs> the faster the feet move. Yeah, man. It was uh, it was pretty dope. I don't think I've have I sipped this yet. I don't think so, man. It's just been sitting there, getting warm, <sighs> getting all warm, mm. hot, and musty. See, then I piss. Hell yeah. There you go. Yeah, I got piss take, in my mouth. I, I gotta take a little picture mermaid. Of this shit. Little mermaid. Look at this mermaid. Oh. This mermaid's eating ass. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Is she this? eating her own ass? I don't know, dude. She's that is, be, she's that eating is ass. wild. She's eating ass. I'm going to take I, a picture. I yeah, got to take a picture of this. post that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, let me do that. That's, that's some wild, <laughs> kinky shit. Yeah, man. This bitch eating ass. Boom. Yeah, anyway, so... Um, but, yeah, um, GM and experience. I mean, everybody's cooperating money-wise. We're solid. Um, jerseys looking are looking good. good. I think uh, if I wanted to be really anal, uh, everybody got to get the the St. Louis hat, the red one. Mm-hmm. But I'm, eh. you're not gonna I'm, be that guy. I'm not gonna be that picky about it. I already asked everybody for a lot. So white pants, Boski, no grays. White pants, man. Keep it simple. White no pants. black. Are you sure you don't want black pants? <laughs> City That's connects. fucking no. <laughs> I'm not doing that dumb shit. All right. Well. Uh, that's coming up for this tournament in July. Is that right? July first five, or second weekend of July. July five, six, seven. Yeah. There you go. That's going to be in L.A., Orange County. Yeah. The daddy's going to represent. Mm-hmm. We're representing. I mean, shit on the daddies. You're representing the culture, man. There you're, you go. Uh, so if you've been chosen, it was funny because I didn't hit. I didn't hit back too many guys from uh, maybe like half from the last, mm-hmm. the last tournament, the last year's tournament. Which was the War Dogs tournament, <clears throat> and uh, mostly because a lot of those guys are, were already playing on another tournament team, you know, from from what I was told. So I just moved on. You know, Got to move on to the next guy. That's right. Because that team, I remember, I put that shit together in like two days. Dang. Jerseys paid and everything. Everybody just was like, "Yeah, I'm in. Here's forty bucks," and we just made it happen. It was, it was pretty dope. There you go. It's pretty dope. Man. All right, man. Well, good uh, shit. I, lo- I love I love going to war with the homies. Not against the homies, but with, with, with them, with, yeah, right. with the homies for sure. It's always, it's always great, bro. I, lo- I love having a good time. Speaking of having a good time, happy Father's Day, my friend. Fuck, that's it right. It is Father's Day. <laughs> happy Father's Day, bro. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Happy Father's Day to Matt Herrera. He's my daddy. Yeah. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy yeah. Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thanks for uh, giving me a dad again. You know, <laughs> as everybody knows, I said that fucked up shit last time. Like, uh, yeah, I have a dad again because mine's dead. No, you fuck. know, <laughs> some fuck. That's mean, huh? Mean yeah, well, I mean, you could say it. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. could say it. I'm, a, I'm a fine. I say fucked up shit all the time. <laughs> 
It's yeah. worse off mic, dude. For those that, I mean, you know how I am. Yeah. But, but off mic, it's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there Hell playing yeah. ball. Hopefully they had a chance to play today. I know I did. That's right. Yeah, you came I out. I sure did. I came out for a nice little scrimmage mm-hmm. for uh, the daddies. For the daddies, yeah. I mean, you're ri- an original. Getting ready for the yeah. tournament? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to participate. Yeah. You kind of sort of asked your wife. You just kind of like, I didn't kind of sort of ask her. I kind of sort of told her. Uh, <laughs> came out. I was like, I'm going to do this Boski style. Uh, so yeah, I, I was kind of. Like, wife! <laughs> She's like, well, what? Why are you talking to me like that? And why are you yelling? <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm I'm, a, and I'm over here like, I don't yell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play baseball on your birthday. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You go ahead and yeah. have fun with your friends on my <laughs> And then my I got birthday. scared and I asked for permission. Actually, can I? Yeah. Well, can what, I please? What's the final verdict? I really don't know, bro. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't think we really ever settled on it. Yeah. You know, well, she I'm sounded have... threatening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta figure out your jersey if, if yeah. uh, you know, if it she, happens. Yeah. She sounded, she sounded like she was gonna kill me in my sleep. Mm. But well, uh, that's all right. DH, it was a pleasure. <laughs> you didn't exactly make it to 200. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. That's her birthday weekend, you know? Yeah. So, so we'll see. We'll see about that one. Well, I mean, I, to be fair, like, do you have plans? Well, not yet, but I'm sure we will. <laughs> now you do. I'm sure we will. <laughs> now you have plans for her birthday. <laughs> we did have plans on going out, like, the weekend mm. before. So oh, Okay. So maybe that'll make Which would be it. next week, right? No. No, no, no. I think that's week three. after. Three weeks out, huh? Yeah. Three weeks out. Okay. Two weeks out. Two weeks. So, the so tournament's... not this upcoming weekend, but the weekend after. Because what's today? The 16th? Shit. The tournament's three weeks out, bro. One, two. Yeah. So, in two weeks is when I would be taking the wife out somewhere. It. That would be 29th, 30th. Yeah. Yeah. It's because 4th of July lands on a Thursday this year, dude. I know. It's, it's whack. Dumb. I fucking hate 4th of July. Lame. I hate that shit. But I'm off 4th of July, so I'll be chilling. The next day, I'm not off. But guess what? Cough, cough, motherfucker. I'm sick. Yeah. Wanna sneeze, wh- sneeze, <laughs> bitches. Sneeze, sneeze, bitch. Uh, you want to know why, DH? Because I'm for the fucking culture, bro. There you go. That's what you got to do if you're for the culture, mm-hmm. you know? Got to call off. You got to, yeah, you got a game on Sunday, big game on Sunday. Yeah. You're originally off. Yeah, don't go to work. And then all of a sudden you get scheduled. No, just quit your jobs. Everybody yeah, just why? quit your job and just play on Sundays. Or just work like, you know, really early in the mornings. <laughs> like Ethan. Ethan, Ethan. Yeah, he works overnight. Yeah. He yeah. works overnight. Whatever it takes, man. Whatever it takes to be able to play ball on Sundays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, dude. That's the way it should be. Just every Sunday's free. People shouldn't work on Sundays, man. No, but, I, then, but then again, like you think about it, there wouldn't be the uh, the school police driving around patrolling. There'd be no gas stations. Sunday open. leagues. Nobody yeah. gets gas on Sundays. Nope, nothing. You couldn't buy fast food. Can't go out to eat. Nope. I think I think warehouse workers should just not have to work <laughs> on Sunday. It's just you. They're just me, dog. I don't work Sundays. I think I'm the only Anybody person. named Boski. Oh. How many people in this world do you think are actually like, like actually on their bir- on their birth certificate? His name is Boski. Yeah. Or even a nickname, dude. I mean come, come on, like a big Val Boski's one. That's that Val Boski. Okay, so okay, Boski included in the name. So I don't know. Yeah, Val Boski. Uh Lebowski, Lebowski, Broski, Broski, Rainbowski. Remember Rainbowski? I remember Rainbowski. It, well, actually, we're in Rainbowski month. Hey, hey, there you go. Happy Rainbowski month. <laughs> you know what everybody overlooks about Rainbowski month? What? It's actually also like Men's Health Month, Men's Mental oh, Health yeah, Month, yeah, yeah. and everybody doesn't give a fuck about it. <laughs> like me, only I don't fucking care about anyone's mental only if health. You're a Rainbowski, then yeah. they care about it. <laughs> A fucking a, a, a rain a rainbow nutcase. That's the only way anybody would care about me. Well, you know, a lot of times too, your your favorite professional baseball team has a lot to do with your mental health as well. So, how are your Red Sox doing right about now? How are you feeling about? Hey, them? we beat the, we won the series against the Yankees today. There you go. Thank God. It's like my like it's probably my in season World Series. I'm just like yeah, fuck yeah, because these motherfuckers, dude. Like Jared Caraba said, it's like these guys just like to be mid. <laughs> they're just like oh we're two games up 500 all right we're gonna lose the next two. Mm. Oh, we're two games under 500 all right yeah, win we're the winning the two. next two it's so stupid but also at the same time like for how bad they've been and like what they have on their roster they're they're grinding they are dude they they're got a guy named sedan Rafaela. yeah bro through the who is this guy kids a stud they got this other dude hamilton or david hamilton 
Yeah. Who is that guy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just comes up and starts well, balling. Well, Sedan, Sedan's pretty good. Uh, he was um, coming back and forth playing center field and shortstop. Yeah. Just elite defense. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, but he's not hitting too well. Mm. Uh, he's he's kind of getting getting comfortable. He was hitting like 200. Now he's at 230. All right. <laughs> yeah, as okay. a win. Okay. I mean, putting 30 points on your average is no easy task. No, not at all. Um, Especially when you're betting that low. Mm-hmm. I think Yoshida just came back. We should be getting Casas back soon. Story's out, so that sucks. So the oh that shoulder. Hey man, he has your injuries. I know it all too well. Yeah, dude, that's it's unfortunate. And I was there for that game too. Fuck. I was sad, man. I was like, eh. You saw it happen. You saw him clinch though. He like, dove and he was punched like, over. He was like, and, eh. yeah, like poor guy. That's it. Fucking grow up. Just be better. Be better shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a better shoulder, dog. Yeah, yeah. Easier yeah. said than done. <laughs> I know. Uh, but the pitching's uh, <laughs> holding it together for a little bit. You got, um, I was going to say, never mind. You don't got Chris Sale no more. <laughs> yeah. I know. He fucking gets traded. He's, he's doing well. He's doing, doing well. well over there. Yeah. Yeah. He got a, He did not get a standing ovation when he when the, the Braves recently came back to Boston. Yeah. He, he didn't get like much oh, of an ovation. Shit. It's like, ooh, that's rough. Yeah, he didn't do much there. It's definitely rough. Yeah, he didn't do much there in Boston. No, no, he didn't. He was hurt most of the time. Yeah. So a lot of it was self-inflicted too, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fucking up TVs and shit. There you go. Fucking throwing tantrums. But at least, hey, the Red Sox are hanging around. Yeah, they're 37 and 35. Yeah. Beat the Yankees. In a, in they just won the series, so yeah. they are hanging around the wild card. Mariners, how are they doing? Mariners, bro. I saw them. Winning. They're twelve games above five hundred. Okay, oh, nice. nice pitching job. is doing exactly what they should have been doing. Mm-hmm. The hitting is barely there, but it's uh-huh. enough to win games because the pitching is so fucking dope. Yeah, um, I'm really hoping that they trade that they trade for some bats. Mm. Um, I don't know who, <laughs> uh, but I know that Luis Robert is somebody that's available. It sucks. If they can put him in that Mariners lineup, bro, come on, man. Yeah, no. It, it, it doesn't he always just get hurt. He though. does, though. He does. Yeah, you really want that? I don't care. I mean, I'll. Yeah. well, I do care a little bit, but, hey, I'll take a chance. You know, yeah. that's that's somebody who's got I, – I, I'll never forget uh, being at the uh, the Home Run Derby last year. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want. I think he was taking batting practice. Um, he He hit one. That almost cleared the stadium. Uh, oh, almost cleared the stadium. It was like uh, the third row, like the third from the last row that the ball landed. Yeah, in left field, mm. and nobody's ever done that. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so I, I, Juice I wouldn't mind having them uh-huh. there, especially because you know how, um, how the ballpark plays. The right. ball doesn't exactly fly, but yeah. he can send it. He can send it. So yeah, I'll take Luis Robert yeah. for sure. Yeah, that's all you need. Louis, Him. Lou, Lou Bob and uh, and Julio. Yeah, Lou Bob and Julio would be nice. A nice mm-hmm. little pairing. Ty France needs to fucking. You well, he's to, been he's been turning it you around. You used a to bit. double hand that full soul. I did. Just like, I called him was... an MVP. I thought he was going to be an MVP. <laughs> I was like, what? Like DH, DH is wild. Ah, yeah, DH I know. Wild man. But anyway, yeah, I'm I'm liking where they are. They need some offense though. They mm-hmm. need to pick it up. They need to get some some bats in there, and there'll be a contending team for a world series title. right hey man well you know good luck so thank you sir appreciate they'll, that they'll figure out how to fuck it maybe up. maybe we'll get that kid from japanese that to go from find a way to fuck it up yeah i got you yeah you guys will find a way to fuck it up maybe know. they'll get to that kid from the japanese league um what's that fool's name the chunky He's a guy big dude yeah lefty yeah, yeah, yeah i know what you're talking about oh shit mm-hmm. i forget but you know who it is what's his fucking name big boy yeah what you call him big boy 55 yeah, yeah. What's he wears fifty five, right? Something I, like I that. don't remember. Who's the fat ass from Japan? <laughs> <laughs> Google search that shit. Who's the fat ball player from Japan? No, no he's not that fat. Nah, he's not, just I'm a thick boy. Yeah. He's a thick boy. He's young. Yeah, he's a lefty. He's only like nineteen the, or something. In the in the baseball classic, I remember he uh, he broke open the game for Japan against Mexico. There you go. Yeah, it's stud, dude. I'm yeah, like, oh, this guy's good. Yeah, I liked so. him a lot. But yeah, I'm I'm liking where the Mariners are at. Mm-hmm. I like uh, I like it a lot. I like where the Astros are at. Astros are <laughs> thirty three and thirty nine. Man, you guys playing such a dog shit division. I, I like where Texas is at. This division sucks. And man. I love where the Angels are at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Damn. love that a lot. Dodgers, how about them, man? 
What about them? First place in the West. Oh, a big whoop. Look 44 at the, and 29. Look at everybody else. They suck. Just like <laughs> your division. They stink. The second place team is the Padres, a game under 500. <laughs> uh, I got nothing. Uh, I like the man. I like the Central better, man. The Central in both divisions, pretty solid. Pretty solid. How you like Trevor Bauer dominating Mexico? I'm tripping about the NL Central. I take that back. Uh, Trevor Bauer dominating in Mexico. Uh, how many girls he punching? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's a good question. <laughs> Señor Bauer, pégame aquí, por favor. Uh, no, wow. pudo. <laughs> no pudo, señora, no pudo. No putos. Oh, there you go. Uh, Mookie Betts broke his wrist. Yeah, he did. I, I heard about it. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Why are you laughing, bro? That's I'm, point, the... I'm pointing at all the Dodgers fans. I'm oh, laughing. man. <laughs> Both just fucked up. Oh, man, I'm just going to. Hey, man, look, he just rubs me a, wrong, a certain way. Oh, he does, huh? He rubs you a certain way? Yeah. Oh, he, he is zesty. He didn't He didn't rub me like that in Boston. And then I, now he wants to do it in L.A. It's like, all right, man, fake. Mm. Being fake. He was being fake in Boston is what I'm saying. I don't know, man. No, he won you now, an MVP. He won, he won his, an MVP he and won he won a World Series. He won himself an MVP. but but And he won, he he won you guys a World he Series. He didn't do shit in those playoffs. But he, got, but he was still part of the team. When yeah. you guys a World Series? I'm just saying he didn't do nothing in the playoffs. I'd have to double check that, but I'm not going to because I'm too lazy. <laughs> so if anybody wants to correct me, feel free. And I'm oh, just gonna, somebody will. I'm just going to nod gonna my head it. and be like, "Congratulations! You're going to see you've it won the, the world's thinnest argument." You're going to see it in the DMs, <laughs> my friend. It's all good. Uh, how's your fantasy team doing? Mm. Your uh, personal fantasy team because you only got one this season. The Cuban Raft Riders. Or you got two, one or two teams. I have two teams, both right. both uh, same team name. Um, I lost today. I hate categories. In our personal league here, it seems like you were going up against Frank the Tank, your bodyguard. Told the bodyguard, I'm your bodyguard now. And uh, sure enough, yeah, congrats on the win. Mm-hmm. And I'm, uh, u- I'm used to winning. It's all good. <laughs> well, you are currently sitting in uh, fifth place, so yeah. Uh, I mean, it's all good, man. I'm, I'm actually tied for third. After this week? Um, I think Halo D's nuts won. I think Razor of Lanes won. Did you win? I did. You won. Dad bats also won. Dad bats also won. Oh well, you know. So Dad bats, by the way, go and buy yourself a fucking Dad bat. Yes. Uh, they are in first place. I'm tied with John Lane for second. Yeah. And then in fourth is going to be a tie between you, Halo D, mm-hmm. Pat. No, Pat's losing this week. Loser. Pat is losing this week, so he's going to go down. And yeah, so I got something good. to go down on. <laughs> looking um, good for you, sir. I will say it's looking good for me because I am the top scorer overall. Top scorer, you are by a few points. And John Lane's right behind me, but you never want John Lane behind you, dude. <laughs> you want no sex gods behind you, bro. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> like, come here. It's peanut butter, it's crunchy. Oh, it's crunchy time, baby. Mm, no, thank you. Chomp, chomp, Gator uh, Boy. <laughs> <laughs> <no>. <laughs> How do the kids say it? He's gonna be like, like, no, Diddy. (laughs) Chomp, chomp, Gator Boy. That's just funny. Get on over here. Uh, I get a lot of shit for for, uh, this type of behavior (laughs) on the mic. Um, Not from the wife, believe it or not. Uh, Just some haters out there, some punk ass haters on another podcast. Oh, yeah. Called Monday's Hangout. They're like, those guys are gay. (laughs) That's literally what they say. And I'm just like, bro, you need to play a sport. (laughs) (laughs) This this shit happens all the time, you know? Of course. This type of uh, banter. Yeah, we shove bats up each other's asses. No, we don't. (laughs) <laughs> I'm just feeding into it now with um, pine tar. <laughs> oh no! Ah, that's bad. Actually, it didn't have pine tar before it went in. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, my cup's empty, man. <laughs> All right, time for that cup trick. We'll be back. Boski, sup? In honor of Father's Day, mm-hmm. I'd like to tell you some dad jokes. Okay, as I drink my uh, agua mala. If oh, I get you to oh, laugh yeah, one time, stop. okay, I will stop. If you so you have to try to... hard not to laugh. All right. Okay. That's a good challenge. I like it. Go. Are right, you ready? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> What's faster, hot or cold? I don't know. Hot. Because you can catch a cold. It's weak. 
did you hear that NASA is about to launch a new mission to space to say sorry to the aliens for polluting it? What? That's stupid. It's called the Apollo G. Oh, no. That's weak. (laughs) My wife recently texted me one word. I didn't laugh at the joke. I laughed at me saying that's weak. (laughs) My wife recently texted me one word. Earth. Earth? Meant the world to me. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Made yourself laugh. All right. Uh, Let's see here. (laughs) Yawn. What does a cloud wear under his raincoat? No clue. Thunderwear. Thunderwear? Jesus Christ. (laughs) Terrible. (laughs) It's terrible. It's really bad. Who was the builder of King Arthur's Round Table? Uh, I have no idea. Circumference. Wow. No. I just watched a documentary about beavers. Best damn show I've ever seen. Come on, man. Uh, <laughs> Did you just <laughs> stutter your uh? Oh, shit. Let's or are see. you running out of jokes? <laughs> I'll laugh at that. <laughs> running out of dad jokes. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I'm running out. I'm running out. Uh, let's see. Sometimes I like to tuck my head and legs into my chest. That's just how I roll. What? Oh, I get it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I tripped over my wife's bra. It was a booby trap. Oh, no. (laughs) No. (laughs) I walked into a bank, pointed a long, thin piece of wood at the ceiling, and shouted, This is a stick-up! Oh, my God. You're sweating, man. It's a little warm. You're getting nervous. (laughs) It's a little warm. You're getting nervous that I may never laugh again. Uh, okay, let's see. Last one here, Boski. Last one here. Okay. You think gas and electric prices are expensive? Have you seen chimneys? They're through the roof. <laughs> okay. Got him. All right, there's one. <laughs> That's pretty good. There's one. That one's clever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sir. Yeah, we're back. Cup check. What you oh, got? Oh, shit. Uh, the Awamala oatmeal stout. I got myself an Asian pear. Oh, <laughs> only one. Oh, okay, one pear. Asian pear. It's a pear flavored hard uh, seltzer. Oh, it's singular. Mm-hmm. It's not a pear of Asians. Blech. No, you not said bad. Not you bad. You said bleh. All right, Boski. Sunday league. Let's bring it home. Mm. We got some Sunday league uh, SOS to t- to talk about, or uh, yeah, do we was, not? It's a little dead this week. It's all right. um, got a couple, just a few. Motherfuckers don't want to. Say anything. No voice DMs this time. <laughs> no, nobody ever voice DMs. Fucking shit. I told you, man. I told you. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot it's, of pressure. It's, it's not an easy task. Not at all. All right. Uh, first one is from W Cannon Twenty One. What up, W Cannon? What up, the w- Water Canyon. Ooh, Canyon. Water, water Cannon. Canyon. That's what W stands for. Uh, oh yes, definitely Water Cannon. He says, know. "Who needs a player in the IE?" Well. Tune in till next week, because <laughs> today is over. Um, I don't know. Whoever needs a player in the IE, hit up the water cannon. Hit up W underscore cannon 21. Cannon spelled C-A-N-N-O-N. Yeah. Cannon. Cannon. That's it right there. Yeah. I wonder if it's Nick Cannon's relative. Maybe it's Nick Cannon himself. N- nah, this dude's white. Never know, man. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> He's white. I mean, you know, whatever. Next one is from Good Job Noah. Good job, Noah. Good job, Noah. He I plays, like these names. He plays in a league that's down below. He says, uh, South Coast fucking sucks. Yikes. Is that really his message? Yes. I can confirm. <laughs> um, now, is he talking about the South Coast? Like the, this yeah, area in general? The coast that is down south definitely sucks. Mm. Yeah, it, whether they play baseball there or not, which I'm pretty sure they don't. Or if there's a league named, they don't. They really don't actually play baseball over there. Um, not not all the teams. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But you know, some of these teams that we fuck with, they do play baseball over there. Damn right. Um. Yeah. So South Coast fucking sucks. I told you about 
some stuff earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did. Yeah, you you uh, did. care to chime in? I don't. Well, give a, I don't give a fuck, dog. You can say whatever you want. Well, I mean, you know, um, let's just say that you know, not everybody plays on a on a level playing field, or maybe they do because there is no mound. <laughs> There's other leagues throughout that don't have mounds, dog. Oh, damn it. Damn. <laughs> now I'm throwing shade at everybody. Yeah, no. Nah. You know, I don't I don't really have a whole lot to chime in. I think uh I've said a lot, you know, I've said a lot past. about, you know, in the past about mm. you've, the, ta- you've taken the your discussion jabs. at hand, you know. You've taken your jabs. You South say. Coast is the best fucking league in the world. No, it's the fucking the best not, dude. fucking league. No, bro. They It that exists. Sell sell the league. It's to the number 1 league. Mm. Number one league, the number one league, top at, prospects the get number chosen. One league at trying to make money and take people <laughs> that get, with money that get chosen. Nah, man, get the f- no, nah. <laughs> just fucking around. No, nah, you know what? It is what it is, man. I, I've never, I've never seen a game there, and I probably ever will. Well, I probably never will. Yeah, no, same. Um, fucking uh, Cardinals, hey, move on out of there. That's Wa- right, the wa- Cardinals washed up. Move on out of there. You guys go do something else somewhere else, man. You know, there's definitely an opportunity elsewhere. To play, yep. To show what you can play in a better quality. I know, I know the Cardinals are trying to win that one undefeated, which I respect. That it's a, it's a goal. It's a goal. It's not an easy. Yeah. It's not an easy task. Not at all. Yeah, but uh, all right. I, I would say that uh, overall, down down that way. Overall, not everybody doesn't doesn't apply it to everybody, but uh, they're they're not for the culture, bro. Not mm-hmm. at all. I agree. That is all. That is all about that. Last one is from the IE Dirt Bags to finish off as oh, uh, happy Father's Day to all you Bush Leaguers. That's right, man. Yeah, man. Thank you. Happy Father's Day to you as well. Dirt Bags. Do you know who the Dirt Bags are? IE Dirt Bags. The IE Dirt Bags don't play in the RBL because there is a Dirt Bags in the RBL. Correct. IE Dirt Bags got to be either FBL or Scabble. Mm-hmm. Yep. You're half correct. Okay. Well, I'm one almost, of one of those scabble? one of those is I think correct. they're scabble. No, diamond. No, they are formerly known as the Brew Crew. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they changed their names. They changed their names. It's been it. Uh, I've known that. I've said it on here. Um, whether they're going to be in AAA or not is TBD. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. When you go winless, it's a little tough. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's tough to make a case. And there's a team down in AAA that has been wanting the smoke for a little while. The, the Pericos, the Pericos right? they're, they're ready for the smoke, so we'll be seeing them soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They you know? they uh, they played the Aztec, no, the um, the Yaquis in the Aztec League Championship yeah. when they were both still there. And they beat them. They beat them in the in the championship. Correct. Uh, was that one a three game set? Uh, I think they used to they used to do that. That's yeah. a three. <clears throat> so for there. sure they can they they know how to play baseball. They can throw a ball, catch ball, hit ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's that. Uh, how well they can do it is TBD. TBD. Because you know, man, you already know how true when the AAA teams come up, like, you know already what happens. Historically, the exact same thing happens every season. History always repeats itself, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. But then you got the Yaquis that roll in that lost to the Pericos <laughs> in their previous championship in their previous league, another league we don't talk about. And Pericos beat them in that championship. Yaquis come in. They go damn near undefeated. So that's baseball, man. It is. So, yeah. It's no shade. It's just TBD. That's all. It and, is. And there's man. some of these teams that are getting stronger. That chomp is is getting stronger. Well, you mentioned dirt bags. Uh-huh. Speaking of the dirt bags, there is a dirt bags team down in Maui. Remember the old good old Maui Adult Baseball League? We went from FBL random SOS to Maui. Maui Adult <laughs> Baseball League. Shout out to the dirtbags out there okay. because they won the Maui Adult Baseball League oh, championship. Got it. They went 9 and 3 in the regular season and they defeated the I want to say it was the Kihi Centipedes. Kihi. Two games to none Did to win it? the 2024 Maui Adult Baseball League championship. This is their dirtbags sixth title. Mm-hmm. But their first one in seven years. So congrats nice. to them. Congrats to them. Absolutely. Thanks. Love that. Good stuff. What else we got, Boski? Ooh, SOS is done. All right. Yeah. Well, let's um let's take our tour around the league here. Let's go let's just jump right into the FBL because they're into yeah. the championship right now. 
Okay. Perfect. You, you got the Royals facing off against the the Marlins. I almost said the Yankees. <laughs> oh, the disrespect. the disrespect. I almost said the Yankees. Damn. But how about the Marlins? The Marlins man's not going to be happy that you said that. I'm sorry. So, you know, honest he's gonna, mistake. He's going to eat you. Honest mistake. <laughs> he's going to take you to the cartel and be like, this one. <laughs> Feed him the mermaid piss. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, this fucking mermaid's eating ass. So um, the Marlins, mm-hmm. I don't know how many people they surprised, but you know, to, yeah. they've kind of been in the middle of uh, some war of words, if you will. Yes, many times with so. different teams, mm-hmm. fell short last season in the playoffs. I will argue that the Marlins are for the culture. There you go. They're for the culture. For fell sure. short in the playoffs last season, but this season, yeah, snuck into the playoffs, mm-hmm. and here they are. All the way down I mean, to the championship. Did they sneak in as the four seed? I guess you're right, but I mean, you know, just looking at it from an outsider's perspective, you're going up against last season's uh, Aztec League champs. Well, I, I wouldn't call them champs, but um, the regular season champs. Mm-hmm. You know, the, they they have a thing about their regular season the, championships. They went damn near undefeated. Right, and uh, here they are, ten and one in the regular season in FBL, first season in which the FBL. baffles me because they they lost that the, their only loss was to the regulators, yeah, fall teams, which is, trips me out because we played the regulators, we beat the shit out of them. Yeah, trips you me have, out, man. You have the Upland Mets, yeah, once upon a time back to back FBL champs. Yep, you got the SoCal Royals, nine time FBL champs. Yep. They're, going for number 10. They're going for number 10 and the first three-peat. First three-peat for yeah, them. They're, they're one win away from that. You have the Hammered Heads, who were expected to uh, at, you know, make some noise in the postseason this mm-hmm. year after going to the championship. Yeah, and then they lost five straight. <laughs> you know? And uh, not to mention the Dog, Tropics. They went seven and one, and then they lost five in a row and still got into playoffs. Not to mention the Tropics as well. The Tropics are another solid team that they're always, mm-hmm. always hanging around in like the semifinals. Yeah. So no disrespect to the Fontana Marlins. In fact, exactly. maybe, maybe it kind of adds a little more clout to their season, mm-hmm. to the fact that they were able to outlast some of these teams and make it all the way to the championship against yeah. the Royals mm-hmm. of all teams. Yeah. So they're one. They were one more win away from having as many wins as the second seed. You know, there you go, there you go, and it, it could have ended differently, but it is you know it 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 ended the way it did, and so you have got Royals Marlins championship first game today, it went to the Royals, Royals win game one, they're on track for that three peat. Marlins got their backs against the wall, score of seven to four, so Marlins got to come back and win two against the defending champs. Can it be done? Who knows? Crazier things have it, happened, right? It's a, if. If you want to be the best, you got to be the best. You got to beat them twice. <laughs> and you got to beat them twice. But you know, Marlins got they've got the pieces to to do it potentially. Yeah. Um they've got a stud on the mound mm-hmm. who can shut down just about anybody on any given Sunday. And then if the bats come through, that's all you need. Yeah. There you go. Play defense, bats come through, shut them down. Yeah. That's your recipe for success right there. Yeah, man. I have a little insight on the game. There was a uh, I think the Royals took like a, an early 7-run lead. I don't know how oh. early. I know uh, Noah Ariola, Noah Nips, he <laughs> hit a two run shot. Dang, okay, hit a two run nice. shot. Nice. Yeah. He's the guy that uh, that hit a. Is he the guy that hit a walk off walk off tank yeah. in the, one of the tournaments? Yes, 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 yes. And he also played in uh, CWL. There you go. Yeah. The legend continues. Yeah, he almost hit two two off of us. He um, fuck, he he took Smokey off the wall twice, and then I walked. Oh, I didn't walk over to him, but I was like. Hit the weights <laughs> just to fuck with him, right? And I was like, "Hey, man, you're in a CW- CWL, right?" And he looks at me like I'm fucking crazy, like, "Who the fuck are you?" And he kind of looked at me. I'm like, "Pat told me you play in CWL," <laughs> and yeah. So then he was like, "Oh, okay," but he was cool. He was chill about it. Good shit. Good shit. Yeah. So congrats to the Royals. One win away from the three peat. Yeah. Make can it they, happen. Can they do it, DH? Who was your? Did you? Did, we didn't pick. We didn't pick. I didn't pick. I thought we did. I didn't. You might have. I think I picked the Marlins, actually. Really? I think so. We got to go back and listen. Damn. Okay, so that was Somebody been, picked the Marlins. That would have been New Year's. That would have been like the New Year's episode. 
because we started like January seventh or some shit. Yeah, we'll go back and listen. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna go back and listen. If anybody f- would feel free to do that, please do. But I remember that I specifically said for myself because I'm in the league, I'm mm-hmm. not gonna pick. Yeah, uh, the Pericos AAA champs. They went eleven and one. I can already hear it. Pussy, <laughs> just make a pick. I got my side bets. Yeah. No, don't nobody need to know about my side bets. The Pericos went eleven and one, mm-hmm. win the AAA championship. So you could expect to see them in majors. Fontana War Dogs yeah. went ten and one. Yeah. In the regular season, can we expect to see them in majors? Who knows? Mm-hmm. Who knows? Yeah. But uh, I think the Pericos played Sonora. <laughs> Sonora, that's the other Yankees team. Which oh, we, right. we used to call them the bad Yaki's, if you remember correctly. Ah, uh, yes. The yes. disrespect. Yeah, I said it. I used to say it because they were bad. Mm. I mean, they were also winless at some point. Well, are they as bad as the single A Dobies? Oh, the single A Dobies? No, nobody's as bad as the single A Dobies. Single A Dobies went 0 and 12 <laughs> with a negative 109 run differential. They got crunchied all oh. season. <laughs> Did they um? Did they even finish? Oh yeah, they finished their. Season. If anybody yeah. listens to the podcast and plays for the Dobies, please give us some insight. Please do, because <laughs> goddamn, I would like to know. Yeah. All right. Uh. So, congrats, Royals, once again. Congratulations. Good, uh, job, good job, Royals. RBL Championship. That's the Ramirez Baseball League. Yeah. Champ. I do. Oh, fuck. The, I do have playoffs. some scores. I have some scores for uh, today's playoff and games. Courtesy of the Tibur- Los Tiburones to the Spanish Sharks, as I like to call them. So we got, uh, last week was the first week of playoffs. You had yes. El Saus versus Toros, which I believe Toros won that game. Yeah. And then you also had Dirtbags Tiburones, which the Tiburones won that game. I mean, a little surprising. Right. Just a little surprising considering the fact that the Tiburones aren't really even on the power rankings. Are they not? They're not. They were not really a power ranked team. Um, they they got some win points for this for this win. I'm not sure if they're gonna break the power rankings, but there's a little insight for you. The Barona is taking out the Dirtbags, who were a power rank team. Right. Uh, I want to say they were probably in like the top fifty. It's wild. I'll take a look right now. But anyway, yeah. you were saying it's wild. You got scores. Um, I got some scores for today. Let's do it. So the, with the Toros victory, they went up against the Primos today. Primos win four to two, unfortunately. So the total season is over. Mm, womp womp. The P Primos, the Pasadena Primos, they will be moving on to the RBL Championship. Major yeah, the P region. Primos, uh, once upon a time, a champ. Not this past season, but the season before. Yeah, beat El Sauce in the championship. It was saucy. Um, the next game, it was the Tiburones going up against the Glendale Braves. Glendale Braves win five to two. So we're gonna have a championship between the Braves and the, the Primos. Primos. Is this a, a typical one and done type of game, or is it gonna be? A best I think of three? they play a best of three. All right. Ooh, I want to make some picks. I know who I want to pick, but I'm gonna let you pick first. Um, we're gonna have to go with uh, I, Primos. You're taking the Primos. I'm taking Primos. Thank God, because I wanted to take the Braves. Yeah. Yeah, I want the Braves. Let's go Braves. The Braves have the guys that were once upon a time on the Diablos. That is correct. Is that right? Diablos mm-hmm. were the defending champs, and they yes. did not come back. And now they're they're defending champ. They're defending <laughs> their championship again <laughs> Under, with a different jersey. And yeah, and the Braves, the G Braves, had a totally different season last time. Yeah, they were at the bottom, if I remember yeah. correctly. So but that's how it goes, man. Yeah. Well, congrats to the Primos and to the Braves getting all the way to the championship. Yeah, well, shout out to Wobble Grill because Wobble Grill is really good. Wobble Grill is fantastic. <laughs> You're like, why are you saying that? I don't understand. I'll tell but... you off mic. All right. <laughs> I'll tell you off <laughs> yeah, I just realized, like, oh, I probably shouldn't say things. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Um, we have some standings to get into, if I'm not mistaken, for oh. Norwalk. Boski, is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got so, some standings that you wanted to run down with that Norwalk League out there? Yeah, last week's Norwalk League. Um, they well, they got some nice graphics, dude, so they're they're making that effort. Um, I think it's their time, DH, to bring them into the uh, to the ranks. I would love to. The Norwalk Santa Fe Springs Baseball League. Is that right? That is correct, sir. Okay, hold on. Give me a sec. Let me see. As of Thursday, we're looking at the majors division. Where are you, majors division? I think that shit disappeared on me, bro. Triple H standings. 
Unless their top division is AAA. No, they mm. have a majors. Fuck, where did the major shit go? I'm going to fight myself, I swear to God. There's week three results. I think it's in their stories. Yeah, week three results. I no, see it. That, that was last week, though. Yeah, that was last week. That's what I'm looking at. I think this shit disappeared, dude. Um, All right, I'm going to have to scrap that because I fucked up. I should have saved it. Fuck it. All good, man. Fuck it. All good. Yolo. But teams in the majors, you got the A's, Pirates. Are the Peloteros in there? The Peloteros are not in there. They're in the Phillies. They're in the Bell Gardens Men's League. Looks like there's a Phillies. There's a Rangers. Uh-huh. Hold on a sec. Okay, here we go. Serpientes, Pumas, Athletics, Mets, Blues, Animas, Rangers, Pirates, Potreros. Po- That's a tongue twister. Potreros. The potreros, yeah. What's a Potrero? Um, I think it was like a, uh, like a horse herder type thing. Ah, something like that. Excellent. Yeah, I, you keep going. All right. Well, anyway, yeah. Shout out to yeah. Norwalk Santa Fe Baseball League. We're just looking for the most recent scores. Um, Boski's not seeing it. Yeah, Neither am I. Though. I, I had it. I fucked up. It, it, I think it. Um, I think it disappeared, dude. All right. No worries at all. Um, there's other scores that have, uh, that have come across, but. We're not going to quite uh, get into all of them just yet. One thing that I did want to do is uh, just kind of go through each each league and um, kind of run down like who's you know who's in the top, that kind of thing. Who's doing what? Who's doing what? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because we have added to the most recent power rankings, LABL. Labble. LABL is going to be added to... The next set of power rankings that you guys see. Okay. Um, four teams in that league. There's four teams in there. You got the LA Legends, Los Guapos, the LA Hard Knocks, and the Long Beach Coyotes. Um, the LA Legends are on the top of the standings at seven and two, followed by the Guapos at five and three, the Hard Knocks at five and five, and the Long Beach Coyotes at one and eight. Um, California Elite, the CBA Tigers still at top 4 0. Pacoima Pirates at 5 and 1. There's a new team in this league called Belted. It's just called Belted. belted? Just Belted. Baseballs. Belted. <laughs> they <laughs> have only played one game so far in their own one. Losers. So I just wanted to mention that. Shout out to them. Belted. Well, they're gotta, not winners. Got to get caught up. <laughs> Shout out to Beverly Hills Wood Bat Baseball League. They are underway. The Guapos are on top at 4 0. Mm. Followed by the Venice Gays and that's, that's the, the same, Love. That's the same Guapos, right? Same Guapos as the LABL? Mm-hmm. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, Venice Gays and the Love. Once upon a time, I believe they were called the Love Legends. Right. Now they are just the Love. Mm. That's what, Three that's, and one. That's what they're given? The Love. Give me the Love. Uh, Brooklyn's Mandrake Marlins, one and three. And then the Titans at 0 oh and four. Uh, let's go to, well, we can gloss, gloss over LA Muni. Valley Hawks are at 4 and 1 sitting at the top of the standings. The Phantoms still at the bottom. 0 and 4. By the way, the Phantoms were 0 and 10 last season. And they're currently 0 and 4. Non-existent. A nice little 14 game <laughs> losing streak. Uh NC MSBL North County, the tier in the American Division, the tier 1s are sitting on top at 9 and 4. Ooh. Shout out to them. Where's my Beavers? The the Beavers are in the National Division. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Old Goats in the American are eight and six. Black Sox six and five. SDX Aztecs five and nine. And then the Local Dirtbags at four and eight. Clam Dusters three and nine. <laughs> Gallos de Escondido two and seven. The, the National Division. Clam Dusters always makes me laugh. <laughs> the National Division is a oh, division that's fuck. got the NC Clout, North County Clout. Yeah. They're still on top nine and two. They're pretty good, man. They're pretty dang They're pretty good. good. They're in the top. They're in the power rankings, top twenty-five. Tri City Diablos at eight and three. Shit, I think top fifteen, bro. There you go. Oh, yeah, I think they are. I just kicked your dog in the uh, head. He's, he's chilling. <laughs> and then the your NC Belching Beavers are at nine and four, third place in the national okay. division. Belching Beavers for the brewery. Yep. Yep. And then uh, that. followed by the SD Knights, the Mavericks, the Friar Faithful, and the Vista Grizzlies. Vista Grizzlies are in last at 4, 7, and 2. There you go. Okaba, one more rep, still on top, undefeated, 9, 0, and 1. And in last place, Vallarta, 0, and 8. 
Huh. Still winless. Still um, winless. But shout out to the OC Indians and the Washed Boys who are playing over 500 baseball. The Padres, defending champs over there in Okaba, are currently sitting at 3, 4, and 1. Nice. I don't know if they actually won last week. Hold on, let me see. Who's that? The Padres. Ah. Padres last week. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Who did they play? They played the Washed Boys. Washed Boys beat them 7 to 6. Mm. Sounds like a good game. Damn. Crazy. Hmm. All right. Good for them. OCRBL. OC Rays still on top. 11 and 2. The Cincinnati Reds. 11 and 4. Ooh. Aventureros 8 and 5. Mario's team still on the bottom. <laughs> 2 and 5. Shout out to the Aventureros. It gives us, well, me because I watch it. Not you. But you should watch it. Gives me an opportunity to watch the teams from over there. Yeah. Uh, I've watched, uh, oh, I watched uh, Emo. Hey. I watched him throw somebody out at second base. Oh, shit. He just holds this fucker, dude. Like, I was just like, how a boy good shit. Looks good on camera. Nice. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, watched the OC Rays. Watched Oro. Mm. He was dealing against the Ventureros. Dealing. Nice. Fucking lefties, dude. Fucking. Throws Give a lot of trouble. Throws a lot of curveballs. I want to face I want to face it. I believe OCRBL is going to be coming up on playoffs pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, they're they're starting to rack up those games. Uh, let me see if they've done any updates to their <laughs> standings. Hell no, they didn't play today. I know, but usually, you know, after after a few weeks, they <laughs> update their standings. yeah. There we go. OC Rays. I had them at eleven and two. No, they're fourteen and two now. Oh, <laughs> so shit. There's some games that I have to update. Oh, yeah. We, we should just wait on something yeah. then. <laughs> so, anyway, OCRBL, you know who the OC Rays are. Thanks for the jerseys, by the way. Fuck yeah. I'm wearing mine. GH. This is the second time I wear mine. Oh, boy. You should wear yours. I will. Hold on. PCBL, CBA Tigers, 10-2 and two on top. Platoon, 9-2-1. and one. Raptors, 9-4. and four. And then everybody else below 500. Three teams in the Man. PCBL. You asked me a question earlier, and I was kind of like... Yeah, maybe. Is San Diego, are you willing to put San Diego above the PCBL in well, league, league difficulty? I'm considering it. <laughs> I mean, what you saw, what you saw, right? I'm considering it, yeah. Yeah, you saw what you saw. Mm-hmm. There's only six teams down in San Diego. Mm-hmm. There is eight teams here in PCBL. Um, and five of them are. Five of them are playing under 500 baseball. The sounds, Copenhagen. Sounds like the NL West. The Crooks, the LA Rats, the Regulators, and the Academia Maniacs. The Crooks, though, <clears throat> I will say, have kind of slowly been turning their season around. Good. I want to say they started out not so hot. Mm-hmm. That's right. I think they, <clears throat> didn't they open up like 0-3, something like that? Let me see if I can find. Here we go. Yeah, so they started out one and four, and they have since gone three and three. So there slowly they have turned their season around. Good. Congrats Good. to them. Good for them. They're doing the thing. Yep. RBL, P Primos, we already talked about them in the championship against the G Braves. Scabble, Boski. Scabble. Ooh. That's going to be the Southern California Adult Baseball Ooh. League. If Old I'm Scabble. OG Scabble. OG Shout Scabble. out to the SoCal Bulldogs sitting on top at eight and two. SoCal Sharks and Diamondbacks sitting at seven and two. Okay. Young Guns five four and one. Hops at four and four. Flow State four and five. WC Desert Dogs three and five. Mud Boys two and five. Pasadena Pilots two and six. And the IE White Sox Ooh. having a hard time in the bottom. I'm over of here. At I'm over 0 here. And eight. I'm over here still trying to figure out. Um. The PCBL website. I'm like, oh, blah, blah. <laughs> the White Sox. Um, let's see here. The White Sox are currently 0 and 8, uh, and they have a really. They're having a really hard time scoring runs. They've scored 12 runs in eight games. There you go. All together, <laughs> and have allowed 88 runs. Fucking guys. San Diego Saturday Killer Bees on top, six and two. EC Royals six and three. Wombat seven and four, the Clippers five and four. They all have above five hundred records because they play a lower division mm-hmm. from time to time. There you go. Interesting. San Diego Sunday Pirates seven and three, Sluggos five and three, Walk Ons five and four, Threshers four and four, Ooh. Venados four and five. Yeah, those five teams are stacked. Yeah, 
and then chat that one and seven. And that's why you want to do what you want to do. San Fernando Valley, you have three teams still undefeated. El Molino, the Hokies, and the Park Bums. Oh, somebody's got to lose somewhere. Mustangs at five and one. Valley Boys and Rays at four and two. Cubs, three and two. Toros and La Escondida, four and three. And then everybody else under 500. Sun Valley Brewers still looking for their first win. They're 0 and 7 right now. SoCal MSBL, Marlins on top, 6 and 1. Dodgers, 5 and 2. Team USA and Sun Devils tied at 5 and 3. Every single one of those teams is, is, uh, is a loaded team. Yeah. And then uh, down on the bottom. Oh, well, actually, shout out to the Moonshots. We had our buddy yes. uh, Benzo. Yeah, Benzo Ryan Benson. Benson finally came through met Mr. Moonshots, cute little motherfucker. Yeah, his team is a three yeah. and four right now in SoCal, MSBL, uh, just below the OC Titans, who are four and four, and then the Nationals and Dirtbags two and five, Beach Boys zero oh and six. Yep, that's a wrap. South Coast next, Swabble, no. <laughs> Ambassadors eight and two, Sucio seven and two, Indians Brew Crew Storm seven and four. Bashers in six and four. So all those teams above 500. And then um, Sons of Pitches, Sancho's Irish at five and six. Marietta Bombers, Temecula Pirates, three and eight. The Reds, one and ten. Oh, damn. Well, there you go. That's it, sir. Yeah. Well, TH. Yes, sir. I think that's it, man. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it, brother. That's it. Uh, looking forward to 200 next week. Absolutely. Same that's here, it. man. It's going to be great. Let's get it done. We're going to have a Let's good time. Celebrate, celebrate Horde. A horde. <laughs> celebrate horde. For real. Um, kids are crying, so it's time to go. Time to wrap it up. Yeah, man. Um, Literally. Yeah, wrap it up. Wrap no it kids up, for yeah. anybody else. <laughs> yeah, happy Father's Day to happy everybody. Happy Father's Day to you. <laughs> wrap it up. <laughs> happy Father's Day. Wrap this shit up. Hurry the fuck up. No, but, or uh, get a bunch of your friends together so you can uh, you know, go get snipped. But go together Ooh. so you get a group discount. You know, just kind of like line up side by side yeah, on the yeah, table, yeah. like 10 of you guys. Fucking just tell the weird. doctor, just, you know, snip, 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 Oof. get a group discount. Yeah, that's weird. But yeah, I mean, whatever. Is wrong. Do it with your homies. I, I ain't trying to see nobody's wiener. We're good. <laughs> All right, brother. All right, man. Don't well, forget your five bucks. I brought mine today, by the way. You know it. You did. Five dollars cash. Yes, sir. And uh, I can't say five bucks because you said five bucks. It's five dollars cash. Five dollars cash! <laughs> We're gone. Peace.